In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may our Lord be with you. We call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And we pray, O oh God, restorer and lover of innocence, Direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some who had come down from Judea were instructing the brothers, unless you are circumcised according to the Mosaic practice, you cannot be saved. Because there arose no little dissension and debate by Paul and Barnabas with them, it was decided that Paul Barnabas, and some of the others should go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and presbyters about this question. They were sent on their journey by the church and passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, telling of the conversion of the Gentiles and brought great joy to all the brethren. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church as well as by the apostles and the presbyters, and they reported what God had done with them. But some from the party of the Pharisees who had become believers stood up and said, it is necessary to circumcise them and direct them to observe the Mosaic law. The apostles and the presbyters met together to see about this matter. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it, the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoice to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoice to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Remain in me as I remain in you, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me will bear much fruit. Alleluia. 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 May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine. My father is the vine grower. 
He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit, and every one that does he prunes so that it will bear more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I'm the vine, you're the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into the fire. They'll be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want, it'll be done for you. By this is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. The gospel of the Lord. You know, you have to listen very carefully to the readings. The first word that Jeannie read for us said, some, 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 only some. If there are some, it implies there are others. And you guys get a little bit of a um, uh, bonus because that's the first reading or part of the first reading that you're going to get on Sunday. The church faced an early crisis because there were some who wanted this and there were some who wanted that. Some thought that the Gentile converts, Jews and Gentiles lived in different planets, well, some of the converts who have been Jews are saying, well, these Gentile converts, we have to make them Jews first, then they can become Christians. And the others were saying, well, that's crazy. Why would we become Jews and then become, that's crazy. And so a big fight developed. In many ways, it is reflective of our world today. What was yesterday's election about? Well, there are some over here and there are some over there. And our country better figure it out. Our country better figure out. They solved the problem. They sat down and they had a meeting called the Council of Jerusalem. Or else the church would have died before it really ever got off the ground. They sat down and they solved the problem. I had a couple in last night, kind of late, best I could get it all together. And I said to them, do you realize that of the couples that sit in those two seats that you're sitting in, on average, statistically, a marriage today lasts eight years. That's the, that's the norm if you put all the marriages together and divide by the number of marriages. Eight years. Think about that. Why? Because they don't know how to solve a problem. There's going to be problems, I tell the young couple. There is no perfect marriage. Please raise your hand if you had a perfect marriage. But good couples solve the problems or else the marriage ends before it really even gets started. The church faced the same problem. How do we solve this problem? They solved it. 2,000 years later, we are still here. Not to say we don't have issues that we need to solve. But they worked it out. Our culture, our country, still filled with racial tension, shootings, religious differences, political, they better learn to solve problems. Get everybody on the same page. Learn to love one another. Am I optimistic that that's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. I think I get more pessimistic by the day. Solve problems, work things out. Love one another. Imagine if we did that. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to the Lord. For all the followers of Christ, may our love for one another be sincere 
and generous, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all world leaders, that they will be guided by God in the ways of peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Marie O'Malley, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, through your grace, given especially through the Eucharist, let us learn to love one another. We make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that we may always find delight in these Easter mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work in us may be the cause of our unending joy. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but especially in this Easter season, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angels praise you. We join with them as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heights. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended, he took a chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. Blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. We share a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray.
Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our liturgy ends. We go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.